Hello! This is the January edition of my multimedia blog. I'll be reading from Conversations Out of Chaos by yours truly. This book is available online, like here on my laptop, and in print wherever books are sold. Stay tuned to my forthcoming CD, hopefully available by June, as well as my coffee table picture book follow-up to this memoir, full of poems, excerpts, and interactive fun. As soon as I can get a book deal so they can press it up. January is my mother's birthday month. I am blessed to have a mother who was able and willing to give me a ride to the airport, funds um, towards my Israel-Egypt trip, and happily take care of Miss Chidi, my fat and adorable pet. She went to my apartment before she picked me up from the airport to clean the litter box, feed my cat, and bring, some, bring me some food so I could simply go home, bathe, and sleep. Even though my mom is laid up, paralyzed on a breathing machine due to several strokes, I refuse to give up. I'll keep hoping for some miracle for her recovery somewhere, I don't know, Wherever, whatever amount she can recover to. Mom loves arts and crafts, always does stuff with her hands, and is a very creative person. I pray and command the universe to restore some level of her abilities, and thus I, I wish to speak in the present tense and not as if she's already gone. You can click the link and read all about my unfortunate situation, my mom's condition, and how you can help. I don't want or need your pity, I need your help. Please help by forwarding this video to at least one other person. Perhaps they may know someone who can help. Now here's the exit from my book. Miracle from the start. I was actually a miracle right from the start. Perhaps a bound to be famous known to all destiny. I don't know, but my mom tried very hard to have kids, and I'm the only child. She had two miscarriages and a stillbirth before me, and one miscarriage after me. She stopped working and only rested and prepared for my coming. I was the only baby to survive, the only healthy library. They had my baby shower after I was born, just to make sure she had a successful childbirth. My mom is an artist and makes all types of arts and crafts. She made many doll houses out of cardboard and raisin boxes. She also made me a playhouse out of cardboard when I was four. I truly enjoyed playing in that house with my toys. I guess I played so much and so rough, it just fell over. If I remember right, it leaned to the side like the Leaning Tower of Pizza. I enjoyed that house just as much leaning and on the ground as I enjoyed it standing. <laughs> I remember using it like a sleeping bag and a sled down the hill. My mom screamed. Her dollhouse was ruined. That was the last one she made for me. I'm an only child, so I usually have to play all by myself. Thus, my imagination is very elaborate and vivid. My mom gave me those wonderful kids' books in which you will play the 45 as you manually read the book and look at the pictures. You're supposed to read along with the narrator, and they had nice songs, too. I will make pretend I'm a character inside the book. I pretended to be there and will imitate the pictures in the book. If the author drew them in action like running, jumping, or dancing, then I will put on my pretty Easter dress and I will pose and put my legs and arms in the air in the same position as the pictures in the book. One of my favorites was Richard Scarry's Best Word Book Ever. I liked that book throughout elementary school, even after most kids I grew up. I would pretend to be inside the book and act like I was brushing my teeth, eating with the animal family, oh, and my favorite, traveling with them in the city and throughout the country, and I still love to travel. The first Broadway play I saw was The Wiz, and I loved it. I liked it so much that my mom bought me the album. I played it so much that my favorite songs became one big splash. I would play the album and sing and pretend that I was actually in Oz. I soon got a crush on the Tin Man. I would sleep with the album cover underneath my pillow so I could look at the Tin Man wherever I needed to throughout the night. As a kid, I had a wild assortment of characters I liked. I liked the Tin Man, Blue Bear from the Jungle Book. I also liked the boy from the Jungle Book. And I liked um, the Count Still from Sesame Street. My lovely choices of men. I must immediately travel and go somewhere because right now I'm still single, horny, and lonely. The Music Bug. I remember, I think, in third grade, I saw this high school choir perform in some assembly. I don't know, but it was before I entered fourth grade, because you could start joining band and chorus in fourth grade. And it was after I left my lofty D.C. public kindergarten, pre-kindergarten, and first grade Catholic school. I know I was in the dreaded PG County public school that I hated when I saw the assembly. The group was from Parkdale High. I assume it was some type of jazz and show choir because their songs were very funny and catchy. The females wore these long dresses and they all sang and moved to the music. Me seeing the Wiz live as a kid created this massive music and performing bug that still lives with me today. Mom also took me to see Peter Pan on Broadway when I was about eight. The fun kids shows which I loved to watch were full of songs. The Wizard of Oz with Judy Garland which I loved and all those cute holiday claymation musicals stirred and mixed this music bug into some brew waiting to steam off. 
and me seeing this shell fly from Parto High filled my face. From this on, I was addicted to music, the arts, and my overactive imagination. <laughs> Their music was the coolest, and they sang the grandest songs. As a kid, and I'm not going to even begin to say I know what it feels like as a kid, but I do know that when you're young and little, anyone bigger than you seems really big. With that said, even though they were only in high school, they seemed like the authoritative figure for all music and performing. Maybe because they were not only live compared to TV shows, but they were very, they were much closer than and more personal than the performers from Peter Pan and The Wiz. Not as if I had a chance to get their autograph or even talk with them, but I was familiar with their school. It was attainable. In fact, their choir teach their chorus their choir teachers used the show as a recruiting tool to get us interested in joining chorus. Musical but can't play an instrument. I guess I'm a true muse and a genuine artist. I will have the most elaborate dreams and ideas, and people seem to quickly steal them and never pay me. If you wonder how Ross Sterling Disney or those sci fi authors think of it, it's in their head, literally. Most likely they have very elaborate dreams and imagination and they hooked up the right people to figure out how to capture their ideas into stories, films, and so forth, I write down my ideas too. I guess I'm very left brain or whatever side creative thinking is on. I have very elaborate songs in my dreams. I understand John Lennon dreamt of imagining. Songs enter my head through dreams, listening to other songs, hearing slight melodies in everyday life, like door chimes or engine noise, or even listening to the rhythm of a copier can inspire a song. I'll be an excellent copyright infringement researcher. I can hear a song and find the melody, harmony, rhythm, and even drum beat that belongs or inspired by another song. One Christmas, Daddy bought me a guitar because I was playing with, not playing on, my aunt. I didn't even know the fingering. I was just playing with a toy. Daddy was convinced that I was a natural musician and that I knew how to play a guitar or could easily learn. Unfortunately, it just sit there, sat there. I never learned how to play the guitar nor ride a bike. My mom, on the same music budget as my dad, insisted that I take music throughout school. Many schools offered band. I decided to join chorus and band in fourth grade. I decided to play the flute because it was small. My parents seemed ecstatic at my beginning band program. I guess all parents are pleased to see their kids on stage. They took me to see Herbie Mann, a flutist, in concert. They wanted to expose me to other forms of classical and orchestra music. I, however, was never good. And I stayed in beginning for the next three years. I guess reading music is too math-oriented and hard. I would cheat and write the letters above the actual notes. I never learned to read music. To this day, I still can't read music. I unfortunately can never play by ear either. This means I always need someone who is a musician to help make tracks. When I went to seventh grade, I had to choose between chorus or band. Mom was quite irate when I chose chorus. Everybody is in chorus. Anyone can try and sing. Only a few can read music and play an instrument. She was right. I just wasn't one of them. I did join drama club, and when I went to high school, I stayed in chorus. Mom sent me to piano lessons. It was so boring. Probably because all I did was play the scale continuously. Then I would play these really boring songs. I enjoyed playing with the lady's cat more than a lesson. I soon started hiding from her, and Mom eventually took me out to both her and the teachers this May. They need a fun, easy-to-learn way to teach piano, guitar, and music by ear to kids and adults alike. So folks actually learn music and not stay in the beginning for the next three years. Now, stay tuned to see the next video. I love The Wiz, The Wizard of Oz, and I can't wait to see Wicked. So this video is from Wicked. This song, I'm sorry, is from Wicked. And it's Allie Simpson's version. Enjoy and do sign up for my blog and pass this video on.